Ally Luber made it clear there was never a physical fight between herself and James Kennedy. During a recent appearance on Sheena Shea's Ski and Anigans podcast, the Vanderpump Rules cast member shut down allegations made by Tamra Judge and Teddy Mellencamp that her boyfriend allegedly got violent with her on the way to an MTV Movie Awards after party. That never happened. There was no physical altercation, Luber, 28, explained. Yes, we were in the car together. I thought we were having fun. We were having fun. But then James and I did get into an argument, but there was no physical assault. I was not bleeding, and they, Mellencamp and Judge, didn't have to get out of the car and separate us. So that didn't happen. That's all I'll say on that, the brunette beauty added. Bluebird did reveal she and the DJ, 32, were drinking before heading to the bash, which was thrown at Tom Tom. However, the incident did not go down as the podcaster said. He was still drinking. We were all drunk in the back of that car. Yeah, that's true. But nothing happened physically, she noted. I mean, we went to Tom Tom. We showed up at Tom Tom and we had fun. It was like a good night. We would fight when we would drink. I would drink and pick fights. When you drink that much and in those environments, it is not great. That's not who we really are. That's an example of why he shouldn't drink, the astrologer said. While Luber wanted the world to know she's okay, she is also highly aware of Kennedy's demons. I know in the past that he has anger issues. So I get it. But I just want people to know that I'm good and I'm safe, and I love him, she explained. I'm like, do I go on my Instagram to say, I'm good guys? Like, I don't know how to navigate these types of things. And this is something that's very serious. And I do appreciate everyone worried about me. But I do want everyone to know I'm good, Luber, who began dating the Feeling You artist in 2022, added. As OK previously reported, Raquel Levis recently opened up about meeting Luber for the first time after breaking off her engagement to Kennedy. I did the right thing by having a no-contact policy with James, but when we're working together and filming together and he's flaunting his new girlfriend that he met three weeks after I ended the engagement, that hurt, she explained during an episode of her podcast.